Well, we're here with Nana. Nana, I'm very sorry about your fortunes in the match. Uh, how are you feeling right now? Mm, I don't know. I'm, I, I played um, terribly, so <laughs> I don't know what to say. What do you think was the deciding factor in this match for you? Um, again, time, I guess, because I, I, I got really nice position with Black in first game. And, uh, and then, uh, I don't know, I was uh, low on time and then I started to make uh, um, very bad decisions and uh, yeah, it was the first game. The second game I was pushing, but uh, again, uh, I had very low on time and that's why uh, I, I blundered uh, at the end everything, yeah. Between the two games, is there a specific moment that strikes out in your head, something you wish you had done differently? Yeah, I guess I wasn't that much ready for this uh, blitz. Maybe I need more practice in blitz. I mean, yeah, I think this is the main reason that uh, um, even though I became a world champion in 2017 in blitz, after that, my skills in blitz, I think it's getting worse. I don't know why, but yeah, it is what it is. But uh, I hope uh, I will work on it and uh, I, I hope it will get better. How do you feel about blitz chess like compared to rapid or classical chess? The blitz, uh, you should uh, you should see, I mean, you should calculate everything very quickly. And that's the main difference uh, between blitz format and uh, like classical chess. So. Uh, it's you should have a, like very clear mindset, and uh, you should uh, calculate all lines um, very quickly. That's yeah, that that's what it is. What's next now after this tournament? What are you going to be doing next in terms of chess? Um, after this tournament, uh, this Grand Prix is going to happen in Cyprus, classical chess. So yeah, that's my next tournament. And how do you feel about that tournament right now? Like. How do you feel about your standing so far? You mean? The Grand Prix. The Grand Prix? Yeah. Ah, Grand Prix. Yeah, I played the first tournament. I played quite well. I, I, I took third place. But the in India, yeah, in India, I even don't want to recall about this tournament. So I hope in Cyprus it will be much more better. Another thing I want to ask you about, Humpy mentioned in one of the promos for this tournament that she recently is coming back from a very long break. Uh, have you ever taken a long break from chess? Um, only during the pandemic, I guess. Besides that, no, I didn't take any long breaks. Have you ever considered taking a long break from chess? No, I never considered it. <laughs> uh, now I remember also in my pregnancy period, I took a long break, yeah. That's that. That's only I can I can remember because I love playing chess, so I don't consider to take long break. <laughs> in chess. What do you think is the hardest thing about being a professional chess player? Um, it depends. Like, uh, like if you were a young single, then I think it's fun because you are traveling all around the world, playing different tournaments. Um, uh, get getting experience and uh, you meet new people and all this yeah it's 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 fun but um uh, if you have a family like children and so on you have i mean the other responsibilities also yeah it's not that that easy but um i think family also should support you to to continue to continue play chess like a professional Otherwise, I mean, if family doesn't support you, then you don't have a chance. Because uh, being being professional, it means like uh, traveling all the time. So, uh, yeah. I want to ask you, you've obviously been playing chess for a very long time. Throughout your chess career, what's mo one moment that you're incredibly proud of? One moment? Um, I cannot say it was only one moment because... Uh, um, it was uh, several moments where I really felt uh, that uh, I was very proud of myself. That was when first time um, 
was like when we, uh, me and my Georgian national team, women team, became Olympic champion in 2008 in Dresden. Uh, this was the first time. I was 20 years old, as I remember. Yeah, and it was the biggest achievement in my chess career, and I was very proud of it. And the, the, the second time, it was when I became world champion in bl women blitz. Yeah. Uh, this this uh, two tournaments was like a uh, crown of my career. Yeah, very very awesome jewels to have on your crown for sure. The last thing I'll ask you, are you a superstitious chess player? Uh, I used to be, but not now. What was like one superstition you had? Uh, I think the most chess players, they have more or less the same super, like lucky pen or uh, I mean lucky t-shirt or something like this, yeah. Okay, well, Nana, thank you for your time, and we hope to see you back here soon.